The most asked product management interview question is, what's your favorite product? And majority of people don't know how to answer it. And most people think, oh, I have so many different kind of product ideas, but whenever they walk into the interview, the interviewer never likes the answer. In this video, I'm giving you live example regarding how I improve and train someone else okay answer regarding what's your favorite product all the way to make it perfect so that he's able to land the job offer and i want you to take lots of notes so that you're able to achieve the same kind of result as well let's dive in Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product feature in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies, a unicorn startup, and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about product management and tech trends. Like and subscribe for free weekly content. It's Typical very, interview yeah. questions. So tell me your answer. And one of the reasons I love Twitter is because I think it's more of me liking the CEO, the new CEO also. You can easily reach out and fit Elon Musk about the problem you're having. You, you touch very sensitive topic. You're Canadian, you're fine. Okay, can you quickly introduce yourself? Where are you from? Where are you based? Are you product manager right now? Yes, okay, my name is Isaac, Isaac Oni, and I'm currently located in Canada, um, Ontario, Canada. I'm a products manager, however, actively seeking for a new role at the moment. So yeah, um, not working for any company at the moment. So yeah. Okay, great. So what type of interview questions you want to do, Mark, today? So there's this question I really struggle with, um, and that's pick one product you love, um, state the reason why you like it and one thing you can improve about it. I oh! Mean... <laughs> Typical very... interview yeah. question, so tell me your answer. <laughs> okay, um, I, I think um, from the top of my head, I'll just, I'll say Twitter. And one of the reasons I love Twitter is because um, <clears throat> of the, um, the way it connects people and also the social media effect of it promoting reading and writing. I mean, it's very text-based, I mean, originally. And one thing I will improve about it is one of the recent problems that, that the CEO recently highlighted, which is um, a lot of people coming to scrape off Twitter data um, to build their own um, um, AI. And I think one um, solution I'll, I'll um, put forward is just to have a situation whereby um, everybody is one way or the other compelled to do a two-factor um, two authentication. Um, such that anyone coming on the system using the APIs, using the um, logging into the system to use it for one thing or the other, as can be tracked and also um, properly monitored. So I, I think that's just like a way I'm going to um, put that out there. Uh, can be improved for sure. Uh, okay, it's good to start with very new ideas using AI to create something on Twitter, I think it's a good idea, but how you lead into the idea is is, is confusing. Okay. okay, regarding what's your favorite product and, and how would you improve a new feature you want to add to improve it, right? So why why Twitter is a favorite product wasn't clear at all. So give me three reasons why Twitter is a favorite product. Okay, so number one, um, I love the fact that it in promotes it promotes um, writing and um, um, reading. It's text based in a way, unlike um, other social media like um, Instagram that is just basically picture. This promotes um, more like the content um, providers to write, put out things, and of course, you as um, a reader too, you probably you know read more on Twitter or like um, just flipping through pictures and videos. Um, mm -hmm. like some other social media. Then secondly, I also like like the fact that the real-time connection with anybody in the world. I mean, somebody puts, us, puts something and you can comment and the person sees it instantly, not necessarily DMing the person. And I mean, it's very open. Everyone is seeing the, the interaction and everyone and anywhere, anybody can jump on it. Um, that's the second thing. And then the third thing, um, I think is more of me liking the CEO, the new CEO also, I mean, um, there's this connection here, I mean, Elon Musk, there's this connection he just has with the users, you know, something is going on, he comes, tweets about it, everybody jumps on it, he, there's this um, real-time feedbacks, feedback he gives on the system that um, the, the CEO has created around it that you can easily reach out and tweet, to, tweet Elon Musk about the problem you're having and one way or the other, somebody replies to you from the team or even him sometimes um, responds to you. So, I mean, those are like the three things I like about it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like your answer. This way to improve, I'll show you later on. Okay. But you, you touch very sensitive topic. You're Canadian, you're fine. If anybody, <laughs> anybody who's in the US. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> okay, it's very sensitive topic saying that you. Yeah, I know, out. right? <laughs> By the way, if if you accidentally whatever into a different companies, you really need to understand other people's political opinion before yeah. you speak like Elon Musk. Okay, mm-hmm. if you're not sure about other people's political opinion, you better not to talk, mention Elon Musk. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now it's very controversial in the tech space right now. Okay, Let, let's assume you like him. Let's assume the other the other people also like him, or the other people is more Republican. The right now, U.S. is going through vote. Republican, Democrat, they like to take on the edge of Elon. Elon is a Republican. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm Chinese. Okay, I don't vote, but I understand yeah. U.S. U, U.S. politics. How much people like to hype on something that's nonsense. Okay, and I mean, to, I mean to be to be to be fair on um, everyone, I'm not so my likeness is not really based on the political side of it. It's just more of his interaction as a CEO on the platform. You know, getting that real time feedback, more like it, it gets involved and also carry people along. That's just not nothing political or very you know. Uh, I, I know, I know, I know. But the way you put it sounds like you're. You're, you're oh. Republican. You're, you're oh, invincible. my bad, my bad. That's what, that was my By the way, let me rewrite your answer. Okay. Why you like it? I think it's a legit point. Let's assume you're into a Republican. It's okay. We'll keep your points. Okay. It's a legit point. But the way you present your points is the average people's presentation. Because mm. everybody out there can say something similar about Twitter except Elon Musk's part. But the other two is very legit. Mm. Okay. So you, you pick the right thing about the app. But... You're just average candidate, as we know, right? So right now, average candidate do not land a job right now. It's very competitive. Everyone's laid off, you know, different people out there. So how to stand out from the competition is to create your answer from the lens of product manager to show that you're thinking bigger and broader in a in a greater scale. So let me break it down for you. Okay, so if if you let's say we still pick the three points you want to say, you yeah. need to be user pain point driven. For example, Twitter, you put Twitter into three type of customer segmentation, you can say, for example, now people use Twitter, the three main type of customer segmentation. Put three different type of uh, customer persona within the uh, the topic at the beginning. So tell me the three type of customer persona using Twitter right now. And one of those persona is you. Mm, okay. Um, so I would say um, the content creators, Content creator, very good. What's next one? Number two. Um, I would say um, the co- content consumers. I mean, people just some people just come to read and have fun and. Okay, know. read things for fun. With the third one. Then um, the advertisers. Okay, good, great, cool, true. Okay, so now you can say the following: Say, well, right now there are major, mainly three key part of users on twitter there are content creators who create amazing content of course majority of tech space a uh, second group of customer segmentation is content consumers who want to absorb new information new knowledge maybe just for entertainment purposes uh, the third type of customer segmentation is the advertiser who want to run ads and generate more leads to their own product they want to sell so i belong to the second i think you're second right so yeah. I belong to the second kind of co- customer segmentation, which is the the, con- the content consumers who want to learn and also, f- well, have fun as well. So now as a content consumer, I have a three key pain points. Pain point okay. driven. Number one, I'm very tired of those picture driven, like content people consume on TikTok and Instagram. They're mainly for entertainment purpose, but take them really long time to tell us the useful, valuable information by looking at beautiful picture or 30 seconds videos. And at the end of the day, it's just wasting time on those platforms. So, but Twitter addressed my pain point very well. In Twitter, there's no bluff. 150 characters, say what you want to say and read your text very quickly and then you can consume more information and also follow and like the information that you really love and that really benefit yourself. So this is more pain point driven, not just I like it, I just I just like it text. Now, I like text because I have a pain point. People look great on Instagram, people look funny on TikTok, but their content is mainly killing your time, which I do believe so. They kill yeah. your time. You 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 like so saw bikini picture. They kill your time, but doesn't really lead you to anything. Okay. So now, Twitter they give you all text based. You consume content much faster. You like something. You 
you're energized by some new ideas. Okay, so now second pain point, which is talking about it's very fast, real time, right? So the second pain point I had as a content consumer is the speed of getting access to information. We are living in the digital world. There's so much going on in the world, like different kind of news and also friends and family, also new thought in this new space. So, so frequently we're overwhelmed a majority of the social media platform right now um, that, that made me very curated about some old information, maybe one week old, one day old. What I really want is I need the real time information that I can consume right away so that I can uh, like meet my own unique needs as a content consumer. So on Twitter, which addresses this pain point extremely well, anybody can just tweet something right away. You see anything trending and people can say something short, just share some quick topic. You can get access to information instantaneously right away. The third pain point I had is politically, I politically get killed you know, into it, but just like to tell you, sounds like you like Elon Musk, okay? Uh, the third pain point I had is as average people hmm. who barely get access to celebrities or CEO or famous companies and, and have a conversation with them. But the Twitter CEO, Elon Musk, he make it very open. Anyone can tweet about him, come on his post. He also bring in different kind of demographic like political parties or different people, maybe controversial, but you can have very great conversation with these kind of people so that you don't feel distance from them at all using Twitter as a platform. Mm. And that you must talk about what your needs is. You're like, so as someone who is nobody, like average people, like all of us, we're all nobody to be frank. So as, as people who just average people, nobody, it's extremely difficult for me to access someone who's big, celebrity, mm. star leaders, but Twitter open up the gate for me to access other people. So now you put, you is pain point driven, why driven? And then why Twitter solve your pain point so well, make it stronger thesis compared with everyone else saying, oh, I like Twitter, I like some sex, I like, some, I like Elon Musk. Everyone can say it, American the freedom of speech. You know, it's like freedom of speech to say something, no. I'm very strategic. I'm thinking long term, thinking about customer persona and customer pain point, and then how it's matching my pain point. That's why I become my favorite app. Okay, so now when you talk about your specific regarding what kind of new feature you want to uh, integrate on Twitter, I think that's no problem. Your feature is really good. You AI bot with Twitter because it has so much information, right? Um, mm. Again, it should be pain point based. Mm. You can say the following I made up stuff, okay? Um, as a content consumer right now, one of the biggest pain points that Twitter hasn't addressed is it's so much information. It's good to have lots of information, lots of good real-time short messages. It's not good, that's too much. So therefore, if I am the product manager of Twitter, I'm going to create a new feature, which is integrate AI chatbot to curate all the real-time live short pieces of content and create new curated uh, like information feed it customized to me. Da 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 da. You want to say so must be reasoning up front and then tell them why you build it because everyone can have ideas building stuff people are really smart nowadays they all create like amazing ideas but i do like your ideas but why first and tell you about ideas make sense yeah perfectly awesome thank you so much that was really helpful the next step for you to improve your answer to what your favorite product is to see my perfect sample answer of what's my favorite product so that you can see how exactly it would say as a perfect sample answer in this video where i break down the three key elements how would i talk about what's my favorite product and how to improve it like and subscribe for more free training this is dr nancy lee from pm Accelerator.io. i'm gonna see you in my next video right here